<laughs> there comes Mike struggling along the makeshift stick bridge. Yeah. yeah. We're evidently on a little islet. I know, this must be the sanctuary. It's a part of it. Oh look, yep. a little, another weird little shack. And we're resuming our circumnavigation of the pond here in North Hill. Looks like some Ericad. Yeah, we went out to an obscure little island across a perilous makeshift bridge of sticks. Oh yeah, here's a bunch of ericaceous stuff, probably mountain laurel. This, it's a little big for sheep laurel, maybe that's what it is. It's used in, uh, juniper's used, it, it's what they make gin from. Really? Yeah, gin. Well, juniper grows all wild all around here. Yeah, juniper berries is the main ingredient for gin. Juniper? Yes, juniper. Oh, that's the Dutch for juniper? Yeah. yeah. And it, it, it throws a whole new light on, <laughs> uh, what's his name, Donovan Song, Jennifer Juniper. Yeah, right. He's singing about gin. Probably, who knows? Possibly. They were just weird in those days. That was, a, that was a time when other songs came out like Ichiku Park. That was about heroin. Uh, this is, look at all of that, the... Uh, is, was that what it was about, heroin? Yeah. Look at all the uh, woodpecker drilling there. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Ooh, we just thought it was about regular drugs. Like, we didn't know it was about one specific one. Yeah, there's a pretty good sense of the thing. Yeah, there's several conservation properties that are, are all involved here. Mass Audubon has one, but then the Duxbury Conservation Commission have a couple. So what they seem to do is they identify key areas and then gradually obtain them in segments until, you know what I mean? They have a definite... Order. They get all around Pond and North and North and yeah. Marsh here. That's basically one big system of oh, yeah. geology and what am I looking for? It's woods, yeah. yeah ecosphere, one big ecosphere. You know, they've got the whole thing. Yeah. And it's great. Yeah. Yeah, they figured out here's the best way to keep too many people from moving here. Let's just turn the land into conservation property. Well, they, they didn't need industry because they had their ships. Yeah. So Duxbury didn't you know, was not an industrial town. No. Some of had caught his This whole thing looks like it's been picked apart by a bear looking for ants. Or something large looking for ants. Okay. 
That is the center of it all. Cool little perimeter trail. Wow, it almost looks like there's a beachy element or some kind of sand dike over here. Yeah, it's sort of like Walden in some ways. <laughs> Except not as pummeled. Probably. Yeah, there is, I believe. Interesting characteristic little plant. What? Yeah, this looks like a sort of a kettle hole side. So this is probably a kettle hole pond. Oh, there's another trailish thing. Well, no, what it is, is look at how convenient that is to use. Whereas the, the, the DSLR is a whole yeah, other... You can put it on automatic and then blow through the water stuff. Or you, or you can yeah. practice a little bit, is all it takes. And yeah. then, you know, you blow out the whole memory chip and practice and just wipe it out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I was trying to do. Haven't pulled the thing out in a month. I got it though. I got all this footage and stuff I had. Yeah. I don't know what that is. But I'm just trying to think, I mean, yeah, I don't know. G3 can do just about everything, right? Yeah. You just have to get really, really used to it. Yeah. Or you know, set it on auto. And throw, you know, the lens in the Ah, oh, we're coming to. Yeah, see, this brings us to a shore of sorts. This is what I was hoping we'd run into. I find it hard to frame the shot. You have to take the camera shot. Yeah. That's, it's all about the actual picture itself. You know, with direction, with the light, and everything like that. Framing the shot is what gets it. I yeah. I never really thought about that. That's kind of make it easy. And the T3 is a big camera. 
All right. See, this is your basic picnic zone. Sunlight, the whole nine yards. Yeah, this is, uh, oh, I see. Yeah. This is. Retention ponds for cranberry. Oh, look at the deer. Can you get it? Just got in the woods. Oh, really? Oh, that's all right. They're plentiful. Yeah, it's gone anyway, but no, oh, they're so did you see it? No, I didn't, but I, but, you know, I wouldn't surprise oh, me. Oh, it went boing, 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 and then yes. it went off into the woods. But it kept going, you would have seen it. Yeah. Oh, this awesome. is cool. Very nice. Bust you up. Yeah, they can be. Like a rum of bullfrogs. Water pump. Yeah. Gas engine water pump. <laughs> I wonder what bogs it serves. Oh, it There's a cranberry growing. Yeah. This is the bog over here. Yeah. So this is where actually now they're both full, but in the summer this would be falling dry off the lot. Probably. Mary Dam, in memory of Hortense M Mary. Wow. Donated by Stan Mary.